good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Rory Block. I'm a first year master's student at the University of Stellenbosch under the supervision of Peter Swanepoel, um, Johann Strauss and Sarita Bennett from Kern University in Perth, Western Australia. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the trial we're doing here at Hopefield. Um, just a bit of background on my project. The title is Optimal Planting Density for Canola Using Precision Seed Placement and Singulation. The main objective of the study is to determine if geometric uniformity and row spacing can improve canola yield and profitability by using the precise seed placement method of singulation. Singulation is a central metering vacuum system that individually separates the seeds in the ground uh, so you can get that uniform seed placement. The main objectives of the study is to um, investigate whether productivity can be increased using a precision seeding system under different canola plant populations and different row spacings. The second objective of the study will investigate the economic aspects of precision seeded technology um, to determine if on-farm profitability can be increased. Now we know that um, mealy planters or uh, singulation planters are very expensive to purchase so we're going to do an economic an analysis and see whether this technology can become available and also how we can make it cheaper, uh, cheaper and available for farmers to use some time in the future. The third objective of the study will investigate the below, below ground root biomass. This will be done in um, Perth, Western Australia in a greenhouse set. set stop. This will be done. Okay. The third objective of the study will investigate the below ground root biomass in Perth, Western Australia. Hopefully I can get over there in January. We're going to do greenhouse trials. We're going to investigate the root growth under different plant populations and we're going to do the above ground architecture of the plant. So same as, as in the field, we're going to look at how many pods per plant, how many branches per plant, and then the final yield. Okay, I'm going to talk about the row spacings and plant populations that I have here. Okay. So as you can see in Hopefield, we have, I'm investigating different row spacings. These row spacings are 250 millimeters and 500 millimeters each. Um, there's six treatments uh, that we're investigating or plant populations that we're investigating. We have 10 plants per meter squared, 15, 20, 25, 30 and 40 plants per meter squared. The recommendation in the Western Cape has um, seen a 40 to 50 um, plants per meter squared um, population. So we're really pushing the boundaries on how we can achieve lower plant populations. This then introduces or lowers the cost to growers um, and helps uh, make it economical crop to grow. Um, by having the uniformity that we can individually space the seeds apart, this helps plants grow. There's more access to light, more access to nutrients. Um, they've got space to grow. And um, it has been seen in literature that there is um, a higher establishment rate when plants are evenly spaced apart. So the lower the plant population, the better the establishment of the crop. So this does well in, in all types of soils. So this will really, really help because there's no point in planting the crop when only 50% of the crop is going to come up. So this is going to help that uniformity will help with establishment and then thus get better yields and economic return. I just want to explain the, how this uniformity works. So what we've done here is we've I've hand thinned every single plot to the desired uh, densities. So I just want to explain how, how uniformity can now improve. We've got access to light, we've, the plants have, can grow, they've got enough space to grow. So this is what we're trying to achieve. So under different plant populations, obviously the plants will be closer or further apart. So this is just a, um, a visual on how, how we've separated each individual plant um, to get to that density. Okay, as you can see here, we have a row spacing of 500 mils. Um, so what we've done is we've taken the intero out and to get to the 500 for, in, this is in terms of singulation where um, the precision planter can only get to 500 at this time of, uh, of the production. So what we can achieve here is uh, 
we've got 500 and we've also got 250 so we're just going to investigate whether yield can be improved on wider rows having more access to light and um, better nutrient availability so on behalf of myself and my supervisors um, i'd like to say thank you very much for giving me the time and opportunity to talk to you um, i know it's a it's a challenging time of the year um, but we hope to see you next year and uh, hopefully we can have a chat and talk about the project uh, i really look forward to it and i hope everyone has a great harvest and stay safe